Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and today we're taking a quick look and listen to Rode's new IXY stereo clip-on microphone for iPhone and iPad. If you've been looking for a way to make quality stereo audio recordings at any moment, but you don't want to carry around a portable audio recorder all the time, the IXY might be right for you since it turns something you're already carrying, your iPhone, into a portable audio recorder. While we're taking a look at it, we'll put it to use recording my voice for this video using Rode's Rec HD app available on iTunes. Build quality for the IXY is quite nice. The metal housing for the mics feels solid and durable, but it's still quite light, weighing about 1.4 ounces. It connects to the iPhone 4 or 4S or iPad via the 30-pin docking connector, and the green LED lights up to let you know the connection is secure. We also tried it out with an iPod Touch, and it worked, although having the mics attached made it impossible to plug in the headphones for monitoring, so it's definitely a better fit for iPhones and iPads. The core of the the IXY is the matched pair of half-inch cardioid condenser capsules that are behind the grills here. Cardioid mics are directional, so the capsules point in different directions at a 90-degree angle to give you a stereo depth of field. The mics are arranged in what's called an XY configuration, and that's designed to line the capsules up on the same axis, so sound reaches them both at almost exactly the same time, helping to minimize phase problems and deliver clean, accurate recordings. The IXY has its own high-quality analog to digital converter and is actually the first mic for iOS devices capable of recording rates up to 24-bit 96 kilohertz, although you will need to use it with Rode's Rec app to get those resolutions. There is no input level control on the IXY itself, so you'll set the input levels using the Rode Rec app or another compatible iOS app. We had no trouble setting levels and making stereo recordings in GarageBand on the iPad, for example. Because the IXY uses the dock connection, you can monitor your recordings by plugging in headphones to the headphone jack. But when you do that, it's a good idea to plug in the headphones first before you attach the IXY, because the Apple iOS automatically assumes that the last connected device is the recording input. You should also put the phone in airplane mode when using the IXY so your recording isn't interrupted by an incoming phone call. Now, one thing I should point out is that with the IXY attached to the dock connection, the iPhone or iPad's camera is now facing down toward the floor or your hand, rendering it basically useless. So if you're looking to record stereo audio while filming with the iPhone or iPad's built-in camera at the same time, the IXY is not going to help you. But having said that, Rode makes an optional camera mount that we'll take a look at in a moment. I mentioned the Rode Rec app earlier. That app is available in two flavors, a free LE version and the HD version, which you have to pay for, but it's really inexpensive, especially given the impressive feature set. Now, while both the LE and HD versions offer 96 kilohertz sampling rates, the HD version gives you a wider range of sampling rates, including 48 kilohertz, which is standard for video applications. It also features a high-pass filter option that helps to reduce low-frequency rumbles, like wind noise and mechanical hum, as well as custom input processing from Isotope with presets for specific applications like interviews, live concert recordings, and more. Both the LE and HD versions offer file sharing features, including iTunes sharing, FTP, and SoundCloud, but the HD version also adds a Dropbox option and enhanced SoundCloud integration. In addition, the HD version has extended metadata options, time-based recording, variable playback speed, dynamics and EQ, and, saving the best for last, complete nonlinear editing functions. Both versions allow you to export files in various formats, but in addition to WAV, AIFF, and core audio files, the HD version gives you additional format options, including FLAC, AAC, Apple Lossless, and more. The IXY comes with a couple of smart accessories, a foam windscreen that fits right over the mics and radically reduces wind noise. That's especially necessary when you're recording outside. It also comes with this sleek reinforced case with clip, so you can always have the IXY handy so you won't miss a cool audio moment. Rode will also be releasing this handy camera mount slash pistol grip, so you can attach the phone directly to the camera with the mic capsules pointed toward the subject. You can also reorient the mount for side shoe mounting if that's more convenient for your setup. In addition, the mount can be reconfigured into a pistol grip with wrist strap. Also coming soon and highly recommended is this plastic clamp that helps to secure the IXY to the phone and reduce any potential strain on the dock connection. 
Both the mount slash grip and the clamp you see here are pre-production models, but Rode indicates they will be available for purchase in the near future. To give you an idea of how the Rode IXY sounds on something besides my voice, we mounted it to a Canon 5D and took it outside. So there's an overview of Rode's new IXY stereo microphone. If you've been looking for a way to turn your iPhone or iPad into a portable stereo audio recorder for interviews, videos, field recordings, music performances, just about anything really, the IXY and Rode Rec app might just be the solution you're looking for. I'm Rob from B&H and thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.